back in the Topless Baker kitchen and this week we are making my all-time favourite burger which is pork and chorizo. You guys need to throw out all those beef burgers because this is the one. A few simple ingredients and there is so much flavour in this. It's incredible! So what we're going to do to start off with is fry our chorizo, onion, garlic and chilli in a pan with some olive oil just for two minutes until everything is soft. So keep stirring all the time and just to make sure nothing catches on the bottom of the pan. Now if anything is burning slightly, just turn down your heat, but pop in a little bit of water. Now this takes two minutes and literally everything is soft and you'll smell the chorizo smacking you in the face with all those lovely spices that it's got in that sausage. Right, so that is done after two minutes. You can see everything's quite soft. It's covered in all those oils from the chorizo. You can see that red color it's kind of running through those onions and the garlic and it smells delicious you. I promise the kitchen right now is going to smell amazing. So pop this into your bowl with your pork mince, okay? And we're going to mix everything in this bowl just because we want to save on the washing up. So all of our ingredients are in there. What we're going to do add now is add the binding ingredients. So we need an egg, one egg, and then we need one piece of bread which I've blitzed up, okay? So we're going to put all of that in, and those are the ingredients that basically pull the mince together and hold it all into that tight burger. Right, pinch of salt, got to season your meat, a little bit of pepper as well, and then we're going to get our hands dirty, okay? So a good little tip is actually to wet your hands with a bit of water, and that helps to stop the burger mince from sticking to you. It's a little topless tip for you guys there. And mix this all together, okay? Working it with your hands, and it will take a couple of seconds. If you think your mixture is too wet, you can add a touch more bread, but keep the bread on the short side. And once you've mixed that all together, you'll see the onion, the chili, the chorizo all flowing throughout your pork mince. Now, what you want to do is shape your patties. Now you're going to get about three to four patties out of this mixture, depending on how greedy you are and how big you want your burgers to be. But just shape them into a little ball, work them around your hands, and you're left with this lovely little patty, which we're going to put on our chopping board there. Now I've made three patties, like I said, because I'm being greedy, so I've made really big ones. You can make them slightly small if you want. Time to put a touch more oil into our pan. We're going to put those in for two minutes until they're golden each side. And we're nearly there, people. So after two minutes, I've flipped them and you can see this golden colour around the burger, which is exactly what you're looking for. We're going to put these in the oven afterwards, so we just want that flavour and the caramelisation around the outside, and then we put them in the oven so they stay juicier. So just keep watching them, checking they're nice and golden on each side, and then we can put them onto our baking tray. And I've already preheated my oven to 180 degrees, and those go in for about 14 minutes until they're nice and cooked in the middle. Right, our lovely pork and chorizo burgers out of the oven and just about five minutes before it was done, I put on a couple slices of mozzarella into the burger and doesn't it look absolutely gorgeous? Now, I'm not gonna tell you how to set up your burger because everybody likes a different burger, lettuce, tomato. I'm gonna go for a little red onion and rocket. I've got a bit of mayo underneath my bun there and I just wanna layer this on, a little bit of red onion on top there and then we've got the rocket just to add a bit of colour on top of the burger like that. And then we're going to add our bun on top. And there we have it, people. That is our pork and chorizo burger with mozzarella, red onion and rocket. And it is delicious. I promise you, you're going to turn up to a party, you're going to have one of these in your hand and everybody's going to be jealous. All right, guys, I need to tuck in. I'm hungry and how tasty does that look? I will catch you next week and don't forget to subscribe to Topless Baker for more good food like this. Bye! Something like that.